so delicious, especially with the sauce. Oh, hi guys, how you guys doing? So I don't know about you guys, but I love wings. And uh, you know, usually for every Tuesday, we will get wings from like Wingstop or something. But uh, a few weeks ago, um, one of my homie Kevin from Shopee TV, he posted this video on how to make Coca-Cola wings. And the thing about Kevin is that I don't know when to take him seriously or when to not take him seriously. So anyways, this video that he posted got my attention because, you know, I like Coca-Cola and I like wings. And so, you know what, I decided to give it a try. And the first time that I made it, you know, it was good, but I kind of messed up on it because I didn't use the whole can of Coca-Cola. But then after that, I figured out that trick out. It's been good ever since. My wife love it, my kid love it, and every time when I bring it to work, you know, when I heat up in the microwave, my co-worker, they be like, ooh, what is that? So anyways, I asked Kevin, I was like, hey Kevin, you mind if I make this a video for my audience? And he was like, go for it, bro. So in today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to make Coca-Cola wing. And before we start, I just want to let you guys know that it is very addicting. And so if you get addicted to this, don't blame me, blame Kevin. Anyways, if you guys are ready, let's start cooking. And these are all the ingredients that you will need. You're gonna need some um, garlic powder. Uh, I got this from a Costco. And then uh, you're gonna need some black pepper. And then you need some salt. And of course, you're gonna need your chicken wings. I got my chicken wings from H Mart. I feel like I'm getting a better deal there. It's only $6.44 and you get 12 of them. And then you're gonna need some uh, ginger. And you're gonna need some scallion. And these are optional, if you have them, that's good. If not, it's okay. You're gonna need some culanchos and then you're gonna need some uh, Thai chili pepper. And of course, you're gonna need a can of Coca-Cola. And if there's ever a time you need to invest in soy sauce, this could be the one. It costs a little bit more, but it's so worth it. It makes everything taste better. All right, so to start off, we're gonna go heat up the pan. And then we're gonna add some olive oil. And just a warning, okay? You might want to have a lid because it's gonna pop. All right, so we're gonna add the chicken in. And then we add the pepper. And then we're gonna add some salt. And of course, you're gonna add your garlic powder. I'm gonna put a lid on there. And we'll turn to high heat and let it cook. And in the meanwhile, let's prepare the Coca-Cola sauce to go on top of it. All right, so you're gonna need about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven squirt of uh, soy sauce. And then the whole can of Coca-Cola and then you throw in all the uh, scallion and then ginger. Um, I have kids so you know usually I would throw this in but they can't handle the heat so I'm just gonna save it on the side eat it on the side. And then we're gonna heat this up. Put it on medium heat. Turn up the heat. Flip it over to the other side. And then we're gonna do the same thing. Salt, pepper, and garlic powder. All right, we're gonna cover it up. Turn it back to high. And let it cook. I'm just gonna let this cook until it starts to um, heat up a little bit. So you guys see when it bubble up like this, I'm gonna turn up the heat and then we are gonna pour in the sauce. And we're gonna turn back the heat on and we're gonna let it cook until it's uh, caramelized. And that should take about 13 minutes. Yeah, just make sure from time to time you flip it over so the chicken can get all the juice. All right, when you guys see this, getting uh, kind of saucy. 
I mean, we almost there. Just a little bit more. Gonna be juicy and delicious. All right, you guys see that? This is when we stop. So now I'm gonna chamfer to the plate. I'm gonna get some of this ginger and scallion. And to garnish it, it's gonna use the uh, culanchos. Hmm? What do you guys think? Looks good? And all we have to do now is just enjoy. See, I found this uh, sauce at the Vietnamese supermarket. It's so good. I might have to change the name to David Chinsu. It's kind of it tastes different from sriracha. It's a little bit sweet, but the flavor and the spicy is there. So I'm gonna take the chicken, dip it in the Chinsu hot sauce. You guys see that? Oh, look at that chicken. Look at that chicken, guys. Oh man. And then. Mm. So delicious, especially with the sauce. Wow. It's just good. Can you taste it down with some rice? No. Oh. And Kevin, thank you for the recipe, bro. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much if you're staying to the end. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on your way out. And I'll see you soon.